Hello, Kyle Bradshaw here and welcome to this Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week. Today I want to introduce you to the new waterproof speaker from Big Bike Parts or Show Chrome Accessories. This waterproof speaker retails for about $150 and is about half the price of any other speaker system out there on the market that you can mount to your handlebars. So today I want to take you on the step-by-step -step installation of this product and then we'll do some product testing out on the road between the cycle sounds and the waterproof speakers from Big Bike Parts. Now one of the key components when it comes to putting speakers on your bike is the amplifier. Included in this kit is a 40 watt amp that powers these two speakers. Here we have the amplifier that has four wires for the speakers, two on each side. It's got your positive and negative to the battery or to a 12 volt switch source. And this is the wire that your audio volume control is going to plug into. This should be sufficient for any of your personal motorcycle, ATV or watercraft needs. Mounting to the motorcycle will be done of one of three different ways. Number one, you can take this flat piece right here and you can mount the speaker into it. You can then mount these speakers to any flat surface using the supplied screws. If you're mounting this on a motorcycle, which most of you have, you can go with either the 7 8 or the 1 inch clamp. These clamps simply go around the handlebar and the speaker mounts right here on the top. If keeping your handlebars clutter free is key to you, or if you've got bars that are larger than 1 inch or 7 inch, you can always use this device right here. What happens with this is this piece here goes underneath the mirror. You then have this mounting bracket that you're going to position and attach. This is the option that we're going to be using today as we install these speakers here on the VTX. Next you're going to notice that I'm already running the two wheel tuned speakers, so we're going to run these speakers side by side and judge the difference in quality of these two speakers. So right now I'm going to go ahead and take the seat off the VTX, get the battery accessible, plug in the amp, and then we'll mount these speakers. Alright, so here under the seat I just got done attaching the positive and negative here, to the battery. And I've gone ahead and assessed that this amplifier will have plenty of room to sit here underneath my seat. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the handlebars, mount up the speakers and the audio control, run those wires back here underneath the seat. So for the mirror mounts, I'm going to go ahead and loosen the mirror bolt here and remove the mirror completely. Next, I'm going to take my riser bracket and I'm going to peel back the protective cover here. I'm then going to take my mounting bracket that I'm going to be putting my speaker onto and attach the screw here on the bottom. With the screw most of the way in but still loose, I can still rotate the top clamp here. Once I got my bracket attached to my mirror, I'm going to go ahead and set the mirror in place like so. I'm then going to go ahead and adjust the bracket to where I think I'm going to want it. And then up here at the top, I can adjust where the speaker mount is going to be to choose the correct angle that I'm going to want and finish tightening the screw here on the bottom of the clamp. So we're going to slide the nut in place. I'm then going to bring our speaker down, set it in place, and then we're going to throw our screw through this side here. Now I've got the speaker placed up here on the top, I'm going to take the wiring and run it down here with the other wiring that I have coming from my handlebar controls, underneath the tank and back towards the amplifier. Normally I'd mount the volume control on the left hand side here, but because I'm running two sets of speakers and I've got my iPod dock already over here, for this instance I'm going to go ahead and install the volume control here on the right hand side of the motorcycle. I'm going to take the supplied clamp and I'm going to separate it and lift it over the bar here. Now I'm going to take my supplied screw and I'm going to put it in place through the bottom. With my volume control in place, I'm now going to take my cable, route it over here to the amplifier. Now that we have everything run under the seat here, we're going to go ahead and take our audio cord and plug that into our amplifier here. Now I'm going to take the left hand speakers and plug those into the two white wires. Here on the other side, the two gray wires, one that's solid gray, the other is a gray with a black stripe, are going to plug into the right hand side. Alright, so here we got the amplifier hooked up, all the wiring's complete. Up here at the top we've got our volume control and as you can see the LED light is off. Now this amplifier does not have an on off switch and is wired directly to the battery. What makes this amplifier unique is the fact that it automatically turns itself off after 40 seconds of non-use. 
Now the one piece that this unit does not come with that you're going to need to purchase in order to make this work is the 3.5 millimeter audio cable. This will plug directly into your iPod or phone or whatever device you're using to stream your music. So how do you turn the amplifier on? It's quite simple. Once plugged into your phone or your iPod, you're going to plug this into the audio jack. What we're going to do here is we're going to start to turn the volume up and as we do, you'll see that LED light come on. That means the amplifier is waking up and music will play. We're now going to moderate our volume as you drive up and down the road using this dial right here. And there you go. For $150, you can have premium speakers up on the handlebars of your motorcycle. Thank you for watching this week's Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week. Until next week, take care and ride safe. She sits butted just a-claimin' in the sun There